Right, the password is not asshole. It's not. <laughs> that's my other nickname. Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Where's he going with this? Why doesn't this head work? <laughs> Hello, this is Dr. Jekyll. Hello, this is Dr. Jekyll. Hello, this is Dr. Jekyll. All right, all right, all right, lead heads. We are back, and it is episode 357. This is our super special Talking Lead and Friends Independence Day giveaway show where we are going to announce the winner of that super awesome, super fragicalistic Espialidocious giveaway that we did with Mission First Tactical, Caltech. Buck Knives, and Fioki Ammo. And joining me to kick off this episode, we've got coming in at around 158 pounds from Idaho. He's wily, he's quick, but he's calm. Ladies and gentlemen, from last episode, it's Chris Brooks joining us again. Chris, welcome in. Marty, thank you. Leadheads, how you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're back for two in a row, man. That's right. Yeah, back to back. You didn't get enough last episode. No. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And I do appreciate the uh, the weight comment. Okay. I'll go with that. Okay. Okay. Thought you'd appreciate that. Yeah. Join us from the southern part of the United States where they are thunder ridden right now. Uh, some sort of tropical storm, I'm sure. Uh, coming in at a svelte, I mean, he's looking like he's beefed up to about 195. Just guessing. It's all lean, though. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Pretty right good on, guess. Right on the money. <laughs> from from Caltech, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, it's your fellow leadhead and our good friend, Chad Enos. I'm giving it a second for all the applause. <laughs> that's that's the thunder How's it going, everybody? How's it going? <laughs> glad you could join us chad it uh you were on not too long ago we talked to bull pups with chad last time he was on uh, i've been running the Kiltech rdb a little super special edition that they sent for my hunting endeavors this this year and uh, we're gonna be talking more about that later on this year chad welcome in Sweet. thank you Good to be with y'all again. And absent right now, uh, he may join us in just a few minutes, is Travis Franklin with Fioki Ammo. I have no stats on Travis. Uh, Casey Betzold usually joins us. But I'm going to say he's six foot six, 302 pounds, <laughs> with a wingspan of 12 feet. <laughs> Travis Franklin. So hopefully he'll join us. And then the anchor of this crew, all the way on the Midwest Coast, I would say, or East Coast, Mid-East Coast, Pennsylvania. Are you Dutch Pennsylvania, would you say? We are in Dutch Pennsylvania country, yes, sir. There you go. He's knee-deep in it. It's uh, still in quarantine there, too. A hundred days of quarantine. Give it up for the the strength of our giveaway here. Without this man, this giveaway would not have been possible. He was the glue for everything. It's our good buddy David Edelman, ladies and gentlemen, also known as Hodor. More applause louder. I'll take all the credit. And, and David, you guys can't see this, but David dressed for this episode. He has got his tuxedo on. He's got his uh, corsage. He's looking spiffy. Did the wife make you put that on, David? She hates it. Another reason <laughs> that I love it. 100 days strong, guys. 100 days strong. Well, he's got uh, business in the front, party in the back going on. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're going to talk about the giveaway. Uh, we're going to announce the winner. But before we do all that, we got to thank the sponsors of the Talking Lead podcast. And one of those, two of those, three of those, they're all three right here right now, three of our big sponsors, 
Caltech, Buck Knives, Mission First. You guys are very much appreciated and loved by the Leadhead Brigade. Uh, I hope that they are sending love your way through the social medias, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, and more importantly, buying those products. Yeah, buddy. The Fiocchi family has been producing high quality ammunition since 1876. In 2020, Fiocchi's launching a full line of premium products, everything from self and home defense to the long range categories. The Fiocchi Blue Guardian line will feature specially tuned products specifically for home and self defense. Featuring lead-free technology and the only NATO-certified zero-pollution primer in the world. Fiocchi's a proud sponsor of the Talking Lead Podcast and the Leadhead Brigade. Fiocchi trains. Fiocchi protects. So we've all, you know, we've been distanced from, from each other. We don't get to attend the normal shows and events that we, that we normally do. And we do a lot of our camaraderie during those events. So yeah. it's been hard for me these past few months, not seeing you guys and hanging out. Yeah, and that's usually when uh, we get our hands on on stuff too. Like when people put out new products and stuff, that's we all meet up and we get to like fondle each other's goods, if you will. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, we haven't had an opportunity to do that since uh, SHOT Show. And even at SHOT Show's, a little bit weird uh, last year. I think the Buck Knives booth was the only only booth I visited. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. It's the only one I visited as well. <laughs> yeah. Me too. <laughs> right. Me three. I, uh, well, it, it's great that we have this network uh, amongst one another, and we get to do things like this from time to time. And I wish I wish Fioki was on here too with us, another sponsor of the Talking Lead podcast. Uh, hopefully they will get to join us, but – uh, you know, it's where we, it's kind of where this thing was brainstormed was at SHOT Show. Uh, we had been planning to give this CP33 away for a long time and yep. just, you know, happenstance after happenstance, we kept putting it off, kept putting it off. But I think in the end, this wound up being the best way to, to go about giving that CP33 away. Um, we had talked about it at the show and Brooksy's like, Hey, I'd like to get on that. And David's like, Hey, I'd like to get on that. And you know, one thing led to another. We actually had to turn people down <laughs> because we didn't want the giveaway getting too big. Um, so, uh, you know, neat things like that happen at these events and these shows, you know, these collaborations. And that's why we need to get back. We need to get these, you know, our society going, our America going, attending events, concerts, uh, you know, things happen. Good things happen when people are around one another. Yep. Amen. Amen. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so happy to see a friendly face. That's all. <laughs> so make sure you go and support those that support the podcast. Uh, and then, of course, our good buddies over at Modern Spartan Systems. And, and it's not the thunder I'm hearing. Again, I'm hearing the jack wagon train rolling in. So, Gunny, bring that train in. Hey, Ralph, Semper Fi, do or die, hold them high at 8th and I. It is time for the Talking Lead Jack Wagon of the Week, so brace yourself, baby. I mean, it wouldn't be a show without us taking care of some jack wagons. You know what I mean? And this, this world, this society, our environment right now is just chock full of them. Everywhere you turn, you can't sling a cat by its tail and not hit 15 jack wagons. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> so, That's a it's too easy it is it is way too easy and i need your your help lead heads you need to send me some counter to all this jack wagon 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 i'll get it out in a minute uh we need some <laughs> heroes we need some people that we can brag on that are doing good awesome things uh, in our society and uh send them to me talking at gmail.com and we'll read them on the air so let's go with David Hodor, you've got a good one. Let's go with yours first to get us rolling. Yeah, I want to talk about the uh, three people injured in an accidental discharge at an NFAC rally in wait, wait, Louisville. Wait, rewind. What kind of discharge? An accidental <laughs> discharge. There's no such thing. <laughs> it was negligent. But they're calling it accidental in the media, aren't they? Because they don't know. Yep, they sure are. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about it. Just, you know, Call it Call of Duty doesn't really train people, so I think that everybody needs to be aware of uh, 
proper firearms handle and especially when you're gathering in big groups and uh you know the the details of it there's there's not a lot of great detail and they, they have yet to get the person uh responsible in custody all we really know uh, is that three people got injured they were in a concrete uh, enclosure area so my guess is you're looking at a, a ricochet and then with three people getting hurt probably it was a shotgun with some buckshot that went off but uh, everybody's okay Nobody got hurt. So are they guessing it was a shotgun, or is that just your? They take on it? they are. There there is. You know, nobody saw anything, and nobody knows anything. So. And are these the the Antifa people? No, I haven't heard this story, so I don't know a lot about it. I got oh, really? I got to ask questions. I thought I was living under a rock. No, Jeez. no. Even I saw this one. <laughs> well, I've had a lot going on. We'll talk off air. <laughs> what's what's the what's the acronym? I forget. It's a NFAC. Yeah, so that's that uh, group of black militants that uh, want to take over Texas. What? Okay, I guess. Yeah, and they said. Uh, I guess their most recent, re- the guy that runs the whole thing recently said that uh, if they don't, uh, if if the federal government does not give them Texas, and th- by them I mean uh, they're he's referring to black people. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want all of Texas, or they're going to leave the country. That's his. <laughs> That's the latest. On so that, are we so. are we gassing up the planes to get them out of here? <laughs> are we going to give them an escort? Yeah, exactly. I mean, so. I'll I'll let them use Lead Force One. Yeah, it's it's just gotten uh, c- completely silly and, and totally out of hand. <laughs> give them Texas, or we're going to leave yeah. the country. Yes. Um. Uh, okay. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, I mean, it, wouldn't the ultimatum have better been expressed, give us Texas or we'll take it? I mean, that's right. Yeah, you know, yeah not, not the country. Neither of them is realistic, but at least, you know, but it more, sound better. More realistically would be give give me Texas or give me death because that's, that's, <laughs> that's the only alternative. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, if they try to take it by force, then they're going to get that exactly. And we And we wouldn't even have to send anybody else from anywhere else in. Texas would no, take care no. of it. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Oh yeah. my gosh. The, that, that whole, that whole movement and that guy definitely jack wagons, uh, for sure. Oh my gosh. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. So what about you, Brooksy? I've got two small ones, I suppose. Uh, the one is, uh, that Jerry Nadler who, uh, you know, during these hearings with Barr and everything, he's, He's uh, in there giving advice to folks that aren't wearing their masks, uh, telling them that they must wear their mask during these hearings. And literally when he was saying that, he wasn't wearing his mask. (laughs) Are you serious? (laughs) Yeah. So they even have video of it. And it's just it's it's just typical. You know, it's just the hypocrisy that goes on. Uh, on that side and and so it's just pretty funny he's he's even telling people that they need to eat and drink through their masks through their mask i'd like through their mask yeah yeah good stuff okay can i the other one yeah go for it nadler real quick before you move on uh yeah he also told him a a guy on the street asking him a question about what he thought of the uh riots and all the chaos and stuff going on in portland and he on camera said that all of that stuff was a farce. He basically said that it's a myth. He said he used the word myth. It's a myth. And the guy said, "Have you not seen the videos? The videos are all over the internet. You can actually go watch it." As he's as Nadler's getting in his car, he said that that's all a myth. So they're, what they're trying to say and what they've been saying forever is that conservatives are just making all this stuff up to make liberals look bad. Right. <laughs> and and conservatives exactly are like, no, liberals are making themselves look bad. Turn on your computer. Turn on your TV. You can watch it. It's happening in real time. Yeah, and he, right. he's calling it a myth. That's how. That's how totally delusional they think. Either either they're delusional or they think that we're that stupid that we would believe something like that. Okay, anyway, I'm not sure which one they think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably think both. They yeah. they're throwing that kind of stuff at the wall and just seeing who you know what sticks, seeing who believes it. Well, I was, I was getting ready for the show today. I was sitting down and, uh, you know, I was watching CBS because I like to, to get the other side's view on things, you know. And uh, I was watching those hearings, the Attorney General Barr hearings. And, right. I mean, it was like watching 
an elementary school board of teachers chastising a five-year-old for burning down the library or something. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they would ask him a question, but they wouldn't let him answer it. And when he tried to answer it, they would speak over him. The person um, uh, running the whole thing would be, be banging his gavel, you know, telling Barr to shut up so you couldn't hear what he was saying. And then they would ask questions that, I mean, just baiting questions. And you'd have to be a freaking five-year-old not to realize what they were doing. It's like, just a simple yes or no, Mr. Barr. And they would yeah. ask this question that could not be answered with a simple yes or no. <laughs> And when he would go, when he would go to try to explain it, they would say, "I'll take that as a no." <laughs> yeah. they're, they're just purposely disrupt, disruptive, deceptive. That is Deception all. the biggest, biggest game. But they're just the most immature people, and and some of them, to be honest with you, and I, I'm not saying they're dumb. Like that's my opinion. They're literally clinically stupid. And when they talk, like like that representative Johnson, um, I can't remember where he's from, Illinois, maybe was yeah. talking about uh, Guam tipping over. He actually thought the island would tip <laughs> over if there were too many people on one side of it. <laughs> because it had, it had to do with the, deploying the Marine Corps there and, and you know, as a, um, a launching base and all that stuff. And he's trying to come back at this, this general with the fact that Guam is probably going to tip over if we send too many Marines there. He, he actually believed what he was saying. It wasn't like he was trying to make a joke or make light of the situation. You can go watch that video. He's he's the uh, Earth is flat believer too, isn't he? Probably, but there's that, and then there's of course AOC. You can watch any AOC video and get a good laugh. <laughs> yeah. but like, so they're not. When I say they're dumb, I don't like. I said I don't. They're not dumb. Like that's my opinion. They're literally just super stupid people, and it's willful. It's just willful, ig willful ignorance. ignorance. Yeah, yeah. Like now they're saying that that it's a myth. It, it's because he just wants to deny it. Like. You know, maybe all he has to do is turn on his computer like the guy was suggesting and he'll see it right there. And then he could just give an educated opinion on it or whatever, you know, but he doesn't. He just. Well, it's because he's not educated. <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah. And it's the same thing when when you get um, and it's not just conservatives that they act this way towards. It's anybody that that sits in front of Congress. Like it could be one of their own that that isn't falling lockstep with what the Democrat Party is, believes right now or what these liberals are trying to push. Maybe they've got some pushback on it or whatever. Anytime they start to open their mouth and disagree with them, they just cut them off with these immature tirades that, that you witnessed today. Right. Yep. Absolutely. And it's it's that cancel um, mentality. Cancel culture. Yeah. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, then talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you know what? And the thing is, truth and reality be damned. They don't. They couldn't they don't care, care less what the reality no. was at all. So, and yeah. they don't understand. Or, or maybe they do understand it, but um, they just want to push their narrative. That's all they care about. Exactly. And, and it doesn't matter who gets hurt. It doesn't matter, you know, yep, or what the truth is. Yeah. Whose freedoms are taken away. One instance. of these, like, uh, one of these, uh, I don't know if they're senators or who these people are sitting on this, uh, this committee, but one of them actually accused him of murder and they sat there <laughs> wow. and let, let this person do it and would not let him, rebut or retort or answer the question or anything. Fortunately, he had a couple of people up in the stands for him and they were yelling on the, you know, the microphones, like throwing their mask off. He's like, I can't believe you're loud, blah, blah. I mean, it was just, yeah. they'll uh, smear anybody, man. They'll slander anybody, smear anybody. It doesn't matter. Just like you said, it's just to get their narrative across, you know? Yeah. And you know what? Here, here's the thing is like, I, I, I talk about this with my friends, like these people, that have been, you know, voted in, into these chairs in our in our Congress. Like some of them, come, like AOC, she came from a 14th district in New York, where there's nobody. She had nobody running against her, really. Or if there was somebody, it, it was a nobody that didn't really try very hard, you know. Yeah. So th they're just these random people are just ending up in our in our government and making decisions for we the people that have absolutely zero business <laughs> being there. The thing that kills me is that you see these people in any normal circumstances, like in a normal society, uh, even Democrats would be laughing at these people and there's they wouldn't have a chance in hell in being elected. Yeah, they'd be laughed right out, you know, right off the stage, you know, but here we are. They've chosen the dumbest, most ignorant, most 
racist, most everything else, people that you can imagine, they're sitting in the highest positions in our Congress. It's it's insane to me. Idiocracy, but, baby. At its finest. Yeah, but, but they, have, <laughs> they have a following, which is blows my mind. Blows my mind. Anyway, I, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. So uh, I'm going to take one of our listeners' jack wagons now. This is from Jason Edgar, and uh, he sent this a while back, so some of you may have heard about this. Uh, headline is, and this comes from The Blaze, after Ford employee demanded the company stop making police vehicles, the CEO clapped back with logic common sense. Ford CEO Jim Hackett had the perfect response after a group of Employees called on the major auto manufacturers stop making police vehicles, which they say perpetuate racism in society and are accessories to police brutality and oppression. <laughs> According to There's a perfect, perfect example of what we were just talking about. <laughs> yes, I mean this. This is just stacking on top of it. Yeah. Uh, this is a triple stuffed Oreo here. According to auto news site, Jollo, whatever, a contingent of black and white employees at Ford Motor Company recently penned a letter airing their grievances over the company's relationship with numerous police departments in America. About two-thirds of police vehicles in uh, the country are Fords. So, I mean, they had the audacity, these employees to write the owner of Ford and tell him what he needs to do, how he needs to run his business. Well, or what? Just, or what? They're going to leave? <laughs> yep. I hope the how stupid, stupid they are. You know, Ford would be out of business without that business, and they wouldn't have jobs, but I guess that doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, hopefully he escorted them out with a police escort. <laughs> that would uh, be great. Yeah, put them in a Ford and haul them off. Yeah, that reminds me. That reminds me of the uh, the Black Lives Matter um, people that want you know they they want to dis would de defund the police, and then they and then they have their local you know agencies protect them while they're mar while they're marching. Yeah, like the same police they hate are are hired to run a detail for them down the street to protect them as they march. It's I mean, exercise their rights. Yeah, it's just, it's nuts, man. These people are crazy. So, uh, thanks to uh, Jason Edgar for sending that in, and uh, apologize for not getting to it sooner. I overlooked it, but I got it. I got you covered, there, buddy. So, <laughs> if anybody else wants to send in their lead head or their uh, their jack wagons or lead head brigade heroes, send those to talkingletgmail dot com, and uh, I'll read them on the air. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, any heroes? Any, any like anybody stand out as just amongst all this bullcrap that's going on? You know, a reasonable voice in the air, or maybe there's a product or something that's come out that you guys want to give kudos to. Yeah, I didn't think so. Me either. I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Were you talking about? <laughs> we we talk anything. Okay. We talk anything, baby. Um I will say this, uh Antirus Alliance, uh their heroes cuz they've gone ahead and they've scheduled their 2021 try and buy event Pro Gun in Vegas January the 17th, which that uh, typically precludes shot show. Have yeah. we heard anything about Shot Show? Is there any? They say they're full steam ahead, man. They're, they're ready hard. to roll. Okay, so they're taking money and booking booze, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, very good. So uh, you know, I'll give them kudos too. So I'm throwing Antirus Alliance for uh, continuing their try and buy there, uh, Pro Gun Vegas and Shot Show. It's like to hell right. with the man. We're going to do our events. And Brooksy was at an event. As you heard last episode, and uh, it was an outdoor event, but it was an event nonetheless, where it was canceled somewhere else, and they re they rescheduled it for this place. Is that right, Brooksy? That's right. Yep, it was in Park City, and then they moved it over to Snow Basin because they allowed how was them the, to do uh, it. How was the I'm turnout? Sorry. Turnout was um, it was a little low, which was to be expected. Um, part of it is 
uh, you know, they didn't do a ton of advertising because they didn't want the city to come in and shut them down. So uh, I think they were keeping it just a little under wraps. Um, but there were some there were some folks, especially over the weekend, that showed up that it uh, it increased quite a bit. So it was good to see them, but definitely good to get an event in. Yeah, no doubt. And then there's another one coming up in a couple of weeks, and it is from the Sheepdog Impact Assistance, which it's an organization that Talking Lead, Buck Knives, um, Caltech, and Mission First all get behind. They're going to have their 10th anniversary celebration there in Rogers, Arkansas. It's not the, the gala event that they have normally every year. They weren't able to have that one, but they were able to uh, – circumvent you know all the big bull crap um city and and state crap for the the quarantine stuff they're having it outdoors it's august the 15th village on the creek rogers arkansas 6 30 to 9 p.m is an outdoor event there's going to be music and entertainment and they're going to do a silent auction uh, and i know bucks put some stuff up Caltech. Uh, did we ever get that gun sent to them for that? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Caltech did a um, RDB survival, right? I believe. I I can't remember what I did today. So yeah. I, maybe, I'll, I'll edit it, make it sound good. That sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to have entertainment. They're going to have country music singer uh, Coffee Anderson. I've never heard of him, but I mean, he may be big in some circles. Uh, um, y'all know I'm not big on country music, so uh, y'all, y'all know I ain't big on country music. Y'all know says. I ain't. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Me and living here around Nashville, and then there there might be a really big artist there. They can't advertise it for whatever reason, whether he's going to be there or not. Um. And I can't say who it is either, but anyway, tickets are only 50 bucks and the kids are only 30 bucks. It's 15 and under. You can go to SDIA10.givesmart.com to get a ticket, or you can text SDIA10 to 76278. And you can always go to their website and their Facebook page to get more information on this if you're interested in going. Uh, it be a great event. There are tickets available, and uh, it will sell out quick because people want to get out of the house. And this is going to be one of those. They're going to roast a big old pig, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it. So they're my heroes for. I mean, they have been struggling to find some some way to continue their you know their tenth anniversary celebration in the gala. Well, these, these gun people always find loopholes, right? Uh, well, yeah, loopholes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, loopholes. <laughs> oh, so they actually had to come up with a plan, submit it to the planning commission, their local planning commission there. Uh, and make sure that it abided by all their guidelines and all that, and they finally got something worked out. So it's going to happen. No if ands, pretty, or buts about it. It's sad when you have to uh, beg for your freedom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Crazy. But that's how we do. we got to get, uh, get you leadheads out there. So if you're in that area or you want to be in that area, plan now. Make it happen. I'll see you there. Me and Brooks, you're going to be there. What about you, Chad? You going to go? Right. Sure. Where is it again? Rogers, Arkansas. Sounds good to me. Rogers, you know, Arkansas. Arkansas in August. And <laughs> that's Ho fun. Hodor can't get out of the house. He's quarantined. He's still quarantined. Wait, is it this August? Yeah, like two weeks from now. Oh yeah, probably won't be there. <laughs> 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 oh, just tell George. He'll he'll put you on the private plane. Send you out here. Come on. <laughs> Throw you yeah. a mat on a plane. George drives like a Honda Civic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> no, he has a nice car, but he's not a he's not one of those kind of people. You know George. Yeah, but he's in the aerospace industry, for God's sake. He's gotta have like a jet or something. In fact, when you when you interviewed him last time, you asked him if he could buy anything in the world, what would it be? And he said a boat. <laughs> 
Remember that? Yeah. I was like, you don't yeah. have a boat? <laughs> Go buy a boat. <laughs> you, you live in Florida? You don't have a boat? Yeah. You could afford it. And he didn't even want like a, and uh, Marty was pushing me like, like a yacht? Like, a, you know, he's like, no, I just want a boat, like a, you know, small boat. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, I don't get it. You know, we're a $150 million a year business, but George wants to, you know, <laughs> a small boat. <laughs> I think what he was getting at is that he wants to be able to have time to go out on a boat. Yeah, yeah. right. Probably. Yeah. yeah. That's probably yeah. So if he, can't, if he doesn't even have time to go buy a small boat to go out on a boat, he certainly can't jump on a jet. And yeah. I do recall that uh, he was going to take his wife on that boat, too. Maybe. He wasn't taking Maybe. us. <laughs> no. no. Definitely not taking us. Very cool. All right, so unless you guys got any more heroes, uh, we're going to get the planes and trains out of here, and we're going to talk about the giveaway. Let's do it. And what right, a, let's do it. And what a giveaway it was. So it, we kicked it off July, what, 1st or 4th? When did we kick it off, David? Should I go look? Hang on. I, I think it was before the 4th. Yeah. It was, it was July 3rd to the 25th. Third through the twenty fifth, and in that short amount of time, we had tens of thousands of of people respond to that that giveaway. And I know that our numbers showed it on our Instagram, our Facebook, and our podcast listeners. So welcome to all our new podcast listeners. Uh, you are now an official leadhead. So there you go. You're part of the right. leadhead brigade now. That's all it takes to be part of the leadhead brigade. But if you do anything douchey, <laughs> you're out. You get on the jack wagon train. <laughs> yeah. But no, seriously, we appreciate everyone's participation, and uh, it was it was great to see uh, all the people that had signed up. Really big thanks to obviously our sponsors here. And what I want to do is I want to give each of you a chance to talk about the the prize that is in in the uh, the package. And this is going to one person. One person gets all this awesomeness. And we're going to make That's that announcement here shortly. I know. I know. So um, when we were at SHOT Show, we were talking about this, you know, spitballing ideas. I was like, I was like, hey, Dave, you know, I've got this CP33 with Caltech, you know, that we are uh, got to come up with some sort of giveaway thing with. And just right off the bat, Dave's, Dave's like, I got an idea. <laughs> He's like, let's make a custom holster for it. I was like, that's perfect. That would be great. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. So talk about what you guys did uh, with the holster for the CP33, David. Sure. So this is a, a one-of-a-kind, handmade in the shop. Uh, we were able to make it pre-COVID. Uh, we were able to, to decorate it using our, our, our patented process. Um We've had a lot of requests through social media and a few people confused thinking that we, we stocked this holster. Uh, and that's something that, that we can certainly talk about in the future when things calm down a little bit. Uh, if that's I was to walk into. Partially my, my bad, because we get that question. Um, other than where can I find your guns? The number one question is where can I find a holster for my 30, my CP 33, my P 17. So if so you make should definitely, uh, hey Chad, yeah. I know a guy. We should talk. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely talk. I mean, if I walked into the engineer's office with a request right now, they'd be throwing shit at me. But <laughs> <laughs> make it so. <laughs> we uh, we should definitely talk because we'd love to do it. Okay. If you need anything from us, obviously let me know. We'll 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 get you a, a dummy guns or whatever you need. Well, then right. let's totally customize it and make make sure that a uh, tack knife can fit in there. There you go. <laughs> That'd be cool, man. I love that. A little sidecar. Yeah. I I don't know if I've ever seen that before, actually. I'm sure it's been done, but not big scale. I think that that needs to be our next giveaway. There you go. go. Things are already starting to brew for the next giveaway. But, no, you guys did an excellent job on that holster. And uh, the logo is popping. It looks great. looks awesome. Excellent, excellent job on that. Um, and then from you guys also, you put up one of the, uh, the custom talking lead dump trays has our, you gotta have a, a spot for all your cool stuff. You just won. Yeah, definitely. 
And then Fioki's not here, but they put up a gift certificate uh, for like is like fifteen hundred and some odd rounds. 70. I don't know how many. Fifteen seventy five. Fifteen seventy five. So the winner's going to get a certificate for that, and uh, it'll have the information on it that you'll need to do to get in touch with them. Now, of course, this winner, you know, you have to be eligible. You have to be able to own a firearm in your state. Uh, you can't, you know, all the rules and laws apply. So if you can't win, you shouldn't have entered. <laughs> so, uh, but all that's going to be verified beforehand. Um, before we get to the gun, though, let's let's go to our next one, uh, which was an even, I mean, rarer bird here we've got from buck knives one of their 119 fixed blades 75th anniversary yep limited edition 75th anniversary 119 so comes with a uh, leather sheath and and uh just a really really cool knife yeah that think, thing's that thing's good looking knife man that's my favorite part of and you can't buy those anymore in stores correct they are gone. Those things are gone. So we had uh, we had one left for you, Marty, and, and for the group. And so hopefully the winner appreciates this. Yeah. I mean, I can't stress enough. I mean, with the holster, with this knife, I mean, these aren't just things you can go buy off the shelf because you can't. You know, these are they're very rare, made specifically for the Leadhead Brigade with that holster. And then, of course, like Brooksy said, he was rat holing one of those for you lead heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Pretty, pretty damn sweet. Uh, and then, you know, the icing on the cake, you know, what everybody's drooling after is that Keltec CP33 22 competition pistol, Chad. That is. Yeah, that's a that's a fun, fun little tack driver. I was just looking through social media while you guys were talking and a guy just posted up a video or sorry, uh, pictures of his target from this morning with his CP33. And he said, not a bad way to start the morning. He had one of those uh, nine circle targets, so three, three, and three, you know, and mm -hmm. every one of them, the little middle dot was torn out on on all nine targets. Uh, so, yeah, really, really fun gun. Um, we made one this year, or two this year. That guy got one, and then the, the person with the giveaway here is getting the other one. Yeah. Very nice. I cannot so, wait to win this. This is going to be totally amazing. Kidding. No, we're we're cranking out, we're cranking those CP thirty threes out and everything else out as fast as we possibly can. But as you guys know, we talked about earlier, the industry is going crazy right now because people are panic buying. Um, so it's pretty much difficult for anybody in the industry right now to keep up. But uh, we're everybody's doing the best at full we're... capacity. You know. Yeah. 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 We're doing the best we can, and so um, all these products. Uh, including the gun, uh, you know, really hard to, well, the knife you can't even get, period. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, all, everything is really difficult to find right now. E ammunition's difficult to find. So Extremely. Um, I was talking to Casey yeah. uh, Betzel. Uh, he's over there uh, marketing, and uh, he's been on the show. He also runs Antirus Alliance. He was just talking about, you know, the demand that people have and, and – you know, it's hard for them to understand that you guys are full. We're doing everything we can to produce as much as we can to fulfill your orders. They're already back ordered a, a full year with orders on ammunition. Oh, and, oh yeah, we're completely oh, yeah. we're 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 utterly maxed out. Our machine shop, like I said, is is uh, you know, three hundred you know three hundred and actually fifty days a year, and it's we have three shifts. It never stops. Yeah, and. Uh, there's two shifts everywhere else and um we produce about a hundred uh, about one hundred and eighty thousand firearms per year and we have 320 employees wow. and uh to put that in perspective uh, where our back order right now is pushing two hundred thousand it's probably over two hundred thousand right now oh my gosh so wow. <laughs> we're roughly we're roughly 18 months back ordered or, i mean uh yeah 18 months back ordered and um yeah. So it, and we're and it's full tilt for us. That and was an unhappy you, lead head in the background there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, guys. It's, yeah. it's so my about point six o'clock. He expects me out there. <laughs> my point is, whoever uh, whoever picks up that CP33, it's that's a really that's a really good deal because I mean, really picking up any of our firearms, especially for free in a yeah. giveaway, uh, is a real big deal. And um, 
you know, like one of you guys said, I hope, you know, hope the winner really appreciates all this stuff. And, uh, well, and, and we haven't even talked about, you know, the big prize, Chad, that flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. <laughs> Nobody can win their hands on that. <laughs> there are pretty sweet. I mean, I, I love yeah, mine. I mean, there were, that's 140 bucks right there. I mean, yeah, no, no, it's a great flashlight. I, I, actually, I love mine too. Uh, but, uh, you know, that buck knife and, and then uh, a, a very rare holster for CP33 that you can't find right now. I mean, that's yeah, it's all, those are awesome prizes, man. So we got a CP33. We've got the and which model is your flashlight? I forget which one this one's called. I don't. Uh, that's the CL43. Is that the one that's included? That is. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. So the CL43 flashlight, the custom holster, 400, 450 lumen flashlight. By the way, if, if uh, listeners are interested oh yeah it's a really nice flashlight and it's got the yeah. uh, the classic Keltec. um you call it the gator grip what do you call that yeah gator grip it's uh it's also a real simple light it's just on off there's no strobe or you know yeah. weird weird modes or anything you, you push the button all the way in to turn it on and push all the way in to turn it off or you can hold it down to do a momentary uh momentary light on that so there's no like extra bells and whistles you got to mess with just turn it on turn it off there you go and uh i think they're getting a. is it a black one it is a uh, is it okay it's <laughs> black. Knows more than <laughs> you can always paint it your favorite color <laughs> but uh the yeah. custom holster uh the ammo the 75th limited edition 119 knife from buck knives and that awesome talking lead mission first tactical dump tray going to one person and we you've not done the randomization yet have you david no to pick i was, the I was gonna do it so we're doing this pick the winner with y'all as we are speaking and this is through a the system called gleam and it just takes everybody's entry and it's just gonna go randomize and then you know obviously if you the more you did the more you uh, your chances are of winning, but I mean, you may have done it once and you might win because it's just random. You Sweet. might have done one thing, but I highly doubt you're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a way to take everybody's hope away. Right. <laughs> well, that's what they get for not doing all the stuff. <laughs> but they still could win. You telling me there's a chance? <laughs> Somebody may have said, I just like Buck Knives, and I'm just going to go like their Facebook page to hell with everybody else. They still have a chance to win. But then we've got mm-hmm. we've got people that did everything, and each vote counted one. I mean, each uh, uh, action counted one entry, right? And, and yeah, it's like a raffle ticket. Yep. Yeah, and then if you did them all, then you got a bonus. And what was that bonus? It was a big bonus. Yeah, it's huge, like 760. Seven hundred. Mm-hmm. So Seven hundred individual entries. So if you went through and so you really, did all that, you got an uh, additional seven hundred. That's awesome. So the people who did that are probably going to have the better chance to win here. Out of how many thousands? Almost ten thousand or more. Seventy-five thousand. Well, I can't remember what it was. There's about ten thousand people. Okay, ten thousand. So here we go. Let's do it. You guys ready? Ready? No Christmas vacation drum roll. Christmas vacation. Yeah. Those lights aren't twinkling, Clark. I can do an actual drum roll if you want. Oh, yeah. Chad's a drummer. Do it. Yeah, let's let Chad do the the real drum roll. I don't know how it's going to sound. Actually, that... Crap, I don't have the right... uh. Thing. Sounds pretty good. There you go. <laughs> keep, no, keep going. Keep going. Uh, that's our drum roll. <laughs> that's wow, look at that guy. All right. Maybe my lap. All right, David, spin it up. Wait, you going to do it? He's going to do the drum roll. Here we go. Go. <laughs> Weldon Marshall from Conroe, Texas. Who did complete all the tasks and got a huge bonus is our winner. Weldon nice. Marshall. Spell his name. 
W-E-L-D-O-N-M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L. And what is, where is he from? Conroe, Texas. Texas. So I think they can have guns in Texas, so he passes one of the criteria. <laughs> so, so uh, David, uh, would it be best if you guys get in touch with him, or should we have him get in touch with you? No, I'll, uh, I'll shoot him an email, and uh, there's a little widget that I can send everybody if they want to post it on their social media page, because I know there's some trolls out there that like to say, oh, nobody won it, you know. This is a bunch of BS. Oh, no, it's uh, not BS. Definitely not. Um, wait, there are trolls out there? <laughs> Literally. I think they're called Literal sore trolls. losers. <laughs> but, <laughs> but congratulations to Weldon. And again, thank you to everyone who participated. I mean, it was a great giveaway. Thank you to Buck Knives. Thank you to Mission First Tactical. Thank you to Fioki. Thank you to Keltec. We finally. Got that thing given away after about a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! I mean, we do yeah. what we say. We may not do it you know, quickly, but we do what we say we're going to do. Definitely. We'll start building the gun. I'll start building the, the gun for the next giveaway for next year tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, but make sure you go and thank all the sponsors. Let them know how much you appreciate them doing this giveaway. And, um, you know, odds are we're going to be doing another one pretty soon. If you've listened to the show, uh, we're going to be joining Full 30, the Full 30 ne Network, coming up soon. And nice. we're probably going to be doing something very similar to kick off our uh, joining the Full 30 crew there. So stay tuned for that. We're always taking care of our listeners here, our sponsors, our friends of the show. They appreciate you, Leadheads. They love you, Leadheads. So return the favor and uh, go let them know how much you love them and you appreciate them. Because without them, yeah. we wouldn't be able to bring this to you each and every single week, sometimes more often, Chad, when we get to go to these events. <laughs> yep. Hopefully we start those up soon, sooner than later. So before we sign off, uh, you guys, anybody got anything new? I know everybody's to the max and you can't really concentrate on new stuff, but is there anything new on the horizon that we can we can tease or give a little sneak peek of? Oh, I got a good one. <laughs> okay. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, but you can't tell us? <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned from, from Keltec, as always. Uh, I mean, you really surprised me when you guys unleashed the uh, integrally suppressed sub two thousand. Man, I was just blown away with that. Well, that's this. The next thing coming. There's a bunch of stuff coming out, but the next thing coming out is going to be uh, extra special. Okay. All right. New caliber, too. New caliber for us, and it's a caliber that. Uh, People have requested for a long time. Okay. All right. So, I can all right. think of a couple of different ones. I'm not going to say anything yet. I don't want to ruin it. What about Mission First Tactical, David? You know, we're always working on something that's a game changer. And uh, COVID slowed slowed down this project a little bit, but it's back full steam ahead. And we had hoped to uh, to launch it here in August, but there's just, you know, that's – it's a prayer it's at this point. So uh, yeah. stay tuned. You'll, you'll see it before the end of the year for sure. Yeah, but in the meantime, you can go and uh, get your talking lid, dump tray, tactical wallet. Uh, you can even have one custom made. I mean, it may be a while before you get it, but <laughs> you can go there. Uh, holsters. And, of course, uh, you know, we did that whole episode on the pepper spray. That, uh, yes, sir, and some, uh, some 30 round magazines, and we're happy to give all the lead heads a standing discount. There you go. And it's that discount code. It is Leadhead. It is just Leadhead. Uh, and then Buck Knives. What do you guys got? You kind of hinted at something last episode, so we, we promised we'd talk about it this episode, Brooksy. Oh, we hinted at a couple of things because we were talking to Charlie, so we've got some, some uh, pointy, sharp stuff that's going to be coming out with him. Yeah, Charlie Mel. Uh, we've got a... Yeah. Yes, sir. And we've got a, let's just say we've got a set of five knives that will be coming out here in about a month from today. A set we'll of five give knives. That away. Set of five. So that might give you a little bit of information. Might look good and on, then, on uh, your kitchen counter, maybe? No. 
Um, no, but we also have that coming out in a somewhat near future. New cutlery set. And then we'll. Side uh, note, I could use one now because somebody took mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and then, yeah, and then in October, we'll have another uh, new release that, that hits about mid month. So, okay. Is yep, that all you can? You can't give more specific on the five knife deal that's coming up? On the five. Uh, let's just say it'll be a new hunting line. Ah, perfect. Before hunting season, I hope. Well, depends on when you hunt because, uh, some will start here pretty quick, but it'll be before rifle seasons. Okay. Very cool. cool. I can't wait to see that. So maybe you can, uh, send me some stuff. Maybe. Or I'll release (laughs) these, or I'll release these pictures. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Real nice. Right. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad when you've got a super secret knife project in your box of shot show stuff that you didn't unpack until a couple of days ago. You find this treasure in there. (laughs) Well, it's almost August, you know. Yeah. You don't want to unpack too soon. Priorities, priorities, I guess. Uh, and then, of course, you guys go check out Fioki Ammo. Uh, I talked to Casey earlier today, and they have got a lot of irons in the fire. Uh, one, trying to keep up with all the, the, the demand for the ammo, but they've got some other projects that they're working on also. So we'll get uh, Casey on, and we'll have him talk about and fill you guys in on all that. Uh, but go show them some love, Fioki Ammo. So, uh, again, Leadheads, thank you so much. Hodor, David, thank you for putting this all together, making it happen, running the gleam into things there. Great work. And uh, Buck Knives, Keltec, and Fioki, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Marty. You bet. As always, Leadheads, until next episode, keep your loved ones close. And your firearms closer. Make sure you carry it concealed in a mission first tactical holster. And your Keltex closer. And your firearms closer. With your sidecar that's going to hold your new tack knife. Look at that. We're going to make that happen. I think it's silly. Yeah, I think that's a, that's, that's a great idea. I think that's a great idea. I actually want one. <laughs> which which knife would you make that sidecar for? I'd want uh, a freaking something or other. That's the hard part. Something along this line. Yeah, exact. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Yep. Outtakes, outtakes, outtakes. All right, let's see what these guys are up to here. Okay, just gonna say, I think I missed. New York. I don't think anybody from New York is supposed to be joining us. Let's see who it is. I always put it put it on mute. Hello. She sounds nice. Should I talk to her? Hello. <laughs> Should I talk to her? Let's all talk to her. No? She hung up. That sounds like one of those machines that tries to get you to respond so they can prove that it's a live line and then they go and sell it to some auto dialer company that's why i always put it on mute and wait for them to say something oh they're calling you now yeah <laughs> exactly um we were going yeah, over our jack wagons chad there okay. you go. i got three members of armed militia injured in a shooting at riona taylor protest <laughs> That'll be a good one. Do that one. We are in a jack wagon rich environment right now. Oh my gosh. We are. There's no doubt. It's beyond belief. A very bizarre time we're living in here. Ooh, I hear it. Is that the that? thunder? It sounds like yeah. sounds like a Garth Brooks song. The thunder rolls. <laughs> Yeah, it's real bad. Is it the tropical storm? No, I just heard about that, though. There's one uh, 
There's one headed our way. Brooksy, what's this knife called? Oh, that's uh, that is the Z knife. The Z. Yeah, how'd you get that? It's not the Zar T. <laughs> it says it's a G and G Hawk collaboration. Yeah, that's just a collaboration with them. Oh, and it's called the Z. Yeah. Okay. How'd you get it? Oh, you gave it to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you say you can't get those right now. <laughs> oh. Well, I just unpacked my shit from Shot Show. Oh, okay. There it is in there. A year later. <laughs> yeah. Half a year later. Did you mean to give it to me? <laughs> <laughs> it shows how important it is to them, right? Is that why it's not out yet? Because I have the <laughs> the only one. No, it. They're out, but uh, you can't. You actually can't get them right now. So. You can't get anything right now. <laughs> no, that's yeah, true. That's true. Sure. All right, so this guy just got to his hotel. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and start without him. Because Chad may lose his internet there, may lose his power. That happened to me the other day. Didn't it, Brooksy? Uh, yes, sir. I had one of those. We never, we never lose power out here, though. But Oh, nice. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Um, let me send a message. Going to start. I'm Chad, by the way. I don't hey, know, Chad. I'm Dave. Dave. I think I met you, Dave. I thought y'all. I thought everybody knew everybody. You met Chris at Shaw Show. Chad? Maybe. I'm not very bright, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember stuff. Well, I'm like, that was like six months ago in Vegas, man. Come on. Right. Yeah. That was, yeah, it was eternity for me. Yeah. I would say Chris <laughs> was there. I don't know that you met him. Uh, I thought y'all met. Probably. I thought I introduced you. And Chris, you got a jack wagon? Uh, I might do like two small ones with that. Um, what's his name? Jerry Nadler. Oh yeah, he's a peach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I know Chad's always got jack wagons. Dude, I to be honest with you, I've been so busy, I haven't paid attention to any of it. I have no idea what's going on right now. Um, I would like to probably, as controversial as it'll be, uh, mask shamers. Cleveland mask steamers. Shamers. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> now these these people that are mask shaming me when I go to the grocery store. Mm. Really? Wow. Yeah, and they're like the Karens they get pissed off at me because I'm going down the wrong aisle the wrong way. Like, I can jump in on that one. I didn't I didn't come into the grocery store to spit in people's mouths, <laughs> so you don't have to worry about anything. You know, first of all, I'm not sick. Second of all, I don't make it a habit of spitting on people. Third of all, you're not even wearing goggles. So, <laughs> or gloves. That mask, isn't doing you, that mask ain't doing you any good, and you keep touching your face anyway. So, and and what about the COVID farts? <laughs> <laughs> That's COVID twenty, right? You can get fecal matter. You can get the COVID from farts. Yeah, crazy people. All right, uh, we'll do that, and then we'll uh, get into the.